Hello and welcome to the members only video for the month of September. Um, still going through the mom pop in your box I got from Paul Spare Time. Thank you very much. This box has been amazing. I have the list right here of what we've gotten through the first 25 rolls. I've got five more rolls to go through and I'm probably going to keep it at five rolls regardless of what we get because we have had some amazing finds and uh, um, hopefully we have some more amazing finds in these five rolls. So just real quick, first 25 rolls, we've had 179 wheat cents, earliest being at 27. Wow, this box has been full of wheats. We've hit three still cents, that's cool. Um, we've had two Indian head cents in 1899 and in 1801. We've had a few uh, BU wheats. There may be a couple more that I have missed writing down, but uh, this is what I know for sure. So that's very cool. Some other finds we have here, you could uh, pause and read through this. Um, earliest Canadian penny, 1943. We've had two Canadian silver dimes, 40 and 42. A silver mark dime, I think that was a 43. I didn't write the date down and I haven't gone back to look. Um, we did hit a finning and a the best find, in my opinion, is the 1881 Canadian five cent piece. So that is cool. Um, it does have a hole in it because someone probably put it on a chain and used it as a pendant. But that was a really awesome find out of this box here. So that was cool. That was cool. Um, so yeah, feel free to pause and look at the details if you are interested there. And um, yeah, let's get into these rolls and see what we got. And hopefully we have some more awesome stuff to add to our list. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. Okay, so just like the other hunts, I'm gonna pour these out. We're gonna take a quick look for wheats and uh, anything awesome that stands out. And then I'll we'll go through the pennies and do some variety searching um, after that. Uh, so that is what we're going to do. We're gonna start off with this first roll and we're gonna see what is in this first roll here. Let's see. All right, what do we have here? What do we have here? Um, okay, it's all on the camera, so let me just flip through here. I'm just gonna do a quick flip for wheats. And then we will go from there. That's an 80s. 1952 out of Denver, first wheat in this uh, video. Nice. A um, couple, couple cents back, we got another Weedy. 1955 out of Denver. Awesome. Is that one? Yep. Two more back. We got a 1945 out of Denver. Very cool. Very cool. Oldest wheat yet. And if I do flip through here and miss a wheat, I will let you know as I go through these. Um, here is a fourth wheat. 1956 out of Denver. I believe the 56 has some uh, RPMs to uh, look for, so I will be checking for those as well. Our fifth wheat of the hunt in this roll, 1953 out of Denver. Nice, nice, nice. Then we got our next wheat set, 1948 out of Denver. Very cool. Um, it's a pretty nice 19, um, zoomed in a little bit. I'm just looking at the weeds here. It's decent uh, 2007 out of Denver. I may upgrade my personal album. It's close, though. I don't know about that date. 1944 out of San Francisco. Nice. 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 That might be the last wheat scent in this roll. Um, I'm not seeing anything else, so let me do a quick search through these for Airs Varieties and what have you. Um, and again, I'm going to set the nicest stuff aside for my personal album. And uh, we will go from there. We'll open up the next roll and get into that here in just a second. Okay, so we just had the two, four, six, seven wheats in that one roll. Uh, no other coins of note. Let's crack the next roll and see what we got. All right, 
Let's see what we have in here. Oh, we got a wheat scent ender on this end. Cool. So we know we got one wheat scent. Oh, I got a silver coin here. I don't think it's silver, but it is a not a wheat scent. So let's take a look at this. This is a half franc from 1970. Republic of Francis. So I think that's a France coin from France. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but that is a half franc. And that is probably going to be a clad, copper nickel clad coin. Because by that time, most of the other countries weren't using silver at all as well. Um, but yeah, so let's get into this. It looks like we got back-to-back -back wheats to start out the roll here. So I'm going to grab both of them here. So the first wheat at the end of the roll is a 1954 out of Denver. And then we have a 46 wheat scent there. All right, I'm just going to stay zoomed in. Hopefully, uh, just I'll try to keep everything on the camera. There's a pretty nice night, 2009. Those are a little bit difficult to come by. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Let's see, I think this is another wheat scent here. 1946 out of Denver. Nice. Nice, that's another, another wheat scent. So we're up to three wheat scents for this hunt. Let's move these out of the way because I've already hunted those. Let's move these over since I'm really zoomed in. So just make sure stuff's on the camera here. Ooh, we got a nice red 1955 out of Denver. Very cool. I think that's a wheat scent there, and I'll get to that one in a sec. But that's a nice red wheat scent. There's another wheat scent, it looks like. 1940. Nice. Yep, that was a wheat scent I saw. 1953 out of San Francisco. Uh, a lot of the coins in these rolls are Denver, uh, but this one is a Philly, 1942. Nice. Um, but a lot of the coins are Denver because I believe this is a east or west of the Mississippi box. Uh, let's see, here's another wheat scent. This one's a little rough. Ooh, 37. 37. And then is this another wheat scent? Nope, that's the 80s. That's just a very dirty 80s. And how about this one? 1941 out of San Francisco. Nice. So I think that is all for the wheat scents for this roll. Um, but yeah, all, all the, a lot of the coins are Denver's being a west of the Mississippi. So there's not a lot in the way of, um, of varieties to hunt on Denver's. Um, anything 1988 and prior all the mint marks were stamped in, so you can check any of those dates for um, repunch mint marks. So those were hand punched into the dies themselves, 88 and before. After that, they just were started to place those on the dies. Um, so I do uh, try to check for those as I go, but uh, uh, a lot of dates are very, very minor, so a lot of them are very easily missed. Um, Anyways, I'm rambling on. We've got to it, nine wheat cents in this roll, plus a nice BU, oh, BU, a nice red 1955 out of Denver. So that is very cool. So we will add those up here to the stacks. 37 is now our oldest wheat cent. Let me get through these, and then we'll be right back with the next roll. Okay, nothing else for that roll. So nine wheat cents and a BU. I wheat sense and a nice red, one of those being nice red, and the franc, half franc from France. All right, let's crack some more coins. Let's see what's in this roll. Man, there's been a ton of weeks. So much fun to find weeks in, in rolls. And there are a few more in this roll I see already. Let's zoom in, take a look. First wheat. 1952 out of San Francisco. Oh, another wheat right next to it there, right there. 1947 out of San Francisco. Nice. Um, and then I saw another wheat. Where is the next wheat? Oh, right here. Next wheat is a 1957 out of Denver. And then this one looks worn. It looks 
I get is a 1944. Oof, that one is really worn. I was hoping that would be older, but it was not. It's a nice, strongly strung 1944 out of San Francisco. Next one that I saw here, 1953 out of Denver. All right, let me just make sure stuff's on the camera here. So I'm doing that right. Next week set, 1952 out of San Francisco. Nice. All right, there's another one there. And that is, nope, that is not a wheat set. 1941 out of San Francisco. Um, let's see. So five. Next wheat set, 1945 out of San Francisco. Nice. That might be the last one for the roll. That's what it looks like here. Let's zoom out. We got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Another nine wheat cents in that roll. Nice. Very, very nice. If I'm not seeing anything else here, but let me go through the rest of these and make sure that we'll get the next roll going. Okay. Next roll. Let's see what is in this one. Um, no additional finds in that other roll. Um, this roll is starting out with a 1940. Six Ender. So we got a wheat set Ender. Nice. Very cool. Nice Ender. Looks like I got a still scent. Looks like I got some things in here. It looks like I got still scent and a bonus coin. Hold on. Let's grab my magnets here. Boop. We have a still scent. Let's take a look. It's a little rough. 1943. Don't see a date there. It looks like the four is missing. That might have been one of those um, filled uh, filled dies where the four was filled there. That's cool. Those hold a little bit of premium above the base coins. So that's nice. Um, we'll put that up there. I'll take a good look at it. Let's see, I don't see any mint mark on it, but right here it looks like we have a dime. We have, ooh, we got a mercury dime. We have a very, very slick, very slick mercury dime. 1918. Wow. That is slick, but that is silver. Nice. Very nice. Awesome, 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 awesome. Awesome. Very nice roll. There's another silver dime for these rolls. Very cool. All right, let's check out for the wheats here and see what we got for wheats. 1955 out of Denver. Nice. This is a good roll. Very nice roll. Oh, that's a 68. Jumping all around. Oh, we got another nice blazing red BU 1960. Uh, again, I will check that for any repunchment marks or the overdate there. 1957 out of Denver. Um, let's see. Another wheat here. 1954 out of San Francisco. Looks like we might have one here, and we do. 1958 out of Denver. Ooh, this is a fun roll for sure. 1948 out of San Francisco. Man, man, oh man. Nice, nice roll. Maybe I should have saved this roll for last. Had I known what was inside, I would have. But I didn't. So here it is. 1953 out of San Francisco. Um, Yeah, here we go. Another weed set. 1941. Nice. Roll there, 1956 out of Denver. Denver, San Francisco, I can't make out the mint mark, but I will double check that at some point. And the final we send it looks like 1946. Nice. This was a nice roll for sure. Um, I'll double check the cents, but two, four, six, eight, nine more wheats or 10 more wheats. You know, one of them being a still set. And the find so far to find of the hunt is this 1918 Mercury Dime. Very cool. Very cool roll. Very awesome finds. Okay, so that was 
all for that last roll there. Um, 10 wheat cents, one being a still, and the Mercury Dime being an awesome find. A 1918 Mercury Dime of that. Too bad it's not a 1916 with a mint mark. Am I right? Um, <laughs> all right, well, final roll for the hunt. Um, must have been some nice coins in this hunt. Some nice coins, and we got another wheat cent ender. Well, this box has just been solid all the way around. It's just awesome. Wheat after wheat after wheat, and um, silver dimes, and then this is a double ender. Double wheat cent ender. Nice. Let's talk this out and see what we got in here. So we do have enders, two, two enders. It's going to be this coin and this coin back here. Plus whatever is inside. All right. We're just, just going to start off over here and just go through. 1951. That's a pretty decent red brown. That one might just have a tiny bit of circulation on it, too. That's pretty cool. Um, this is a really rough, this one's probably been in the ground, 1947 out of Denver. That was probably in the ground for a while. Someone probably pulled it off, found it there, and dug it up. There's a 1958 out of Denver. Um, nice. Very cool. Um, pretty solid 1960 out of Denver. That one is a small thing. I can see it from here in the camera. Um, I don't see any of the double dies on that but that one will definitely be a check checker for sure there are some nice stuff there as well oh, oh we got a first canadian and it's stuck 1953 and it's stuck to this scent here Let's see if i can get it loose oh there's some gunk on that one ew that is a young head 1953 i believe was the first year for elizabeth queen elizabeth ii to be on coins nice and there are a couple of varieties to look for all for these um so i probably will check that out at some point but probably after because i gotta look those up for sure 1955 out of denver is our next wheat scent all right is this a 30s nope it's a 50 1950 out of denver out of philadelphia if i can get it right if I can get it right, we have it looks like three wheat cents in a row here. 1955 out of Denver. This one is pretty worse for wear. This one's probably in the ground as well. Yeah, it looks like it. 1941 out of San Francisco. And this one looks like it's been polished up. 1940 out of Denver. It was polished up at some point to make it look nicer, but then it's got a, some dirt has gotten back onto it. Um, another wheat set, 1955 out of Denver. I've seen a lot of those this hunt, and there is at least one more of those coming up here shortly. 1945 out of Philly, and then here's another 1955 out of Denver, and then the other ender was a 1946, right? 1954 out of Denver. Nice, nice. That looks like all of the wheat cents in that roll. All fines. Let's see. Let's see. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve wheat cents, and one Canadian. Wow, that's our first Canadian for the hunt. Of these five rolls, surprisingly, um, I found a few of them in the other rolls. But you know, it is always a possibility that you won't find them. Um, <laughs> Okay, well, cool. Well, that was a solid wheat scent roll there. Um, let me get into the rest of these and see what, if we have anything here, and I'll be back with a wrap-up. Man, this was a nice hunt. Some nice stuff. Okay, we had a fun five rolls with some awesome finds. Let me break down what we ended up with. We had 25 wheat scents from the 50s, 21 from the 40s, and 137, 1937, only one from the 30s. Um, the, we did get the one still sent here and that has the four that is missing due to some grease, a uh, grease filled dye there. So that's pretty cool. Um, that is a Philadelphia. Um, I couldn't see anything else going on with it. And then the other fun find wheat sent is this 1955 out of Denver in quite red shape. So that is really cool there. Um, this one might have a die chip on the reverse and I'll pop up a picture of it and you can uh, take a look and let me know. 
but it is a really nice red uh, 1955. Um, other finds, we did get the Queen Elizabeth II 1953. Um, all the little pickup points and everything on this coin is, is damaged enough so I can't look up the, the varieties on it. It'd be like the shoulder fold or no shoulder fold. And I can't tell because this one is just damaged enough. We got the half Finnick from half Frank from fan, from France, half a Frank. Um, so that was a cool find. Ended up with two 2009s in pretty good shape here. Oh, they're off the camera. Um, so that those are they're always nice to find in good shape. But the, probably the best find of the box is this 1918. Um, I couldn't make out a mint mark, but it is really really worn. This is a very very worn 1918. Um, really cool to find that silver in a box. This one is severely worn, um, but really cool find nonetheless. Fun five rolls, really cool finds, and uh, this is the first thirty rolls we are through. We got uh, a few more, few we're getting we're getting uh, get down to it. Um, Twenty more rolls left, so if I do five rolls, that's four more, four more hunts of this box and. Man, this box has just been stacked with wheats. This is awesome. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. helps me out. And drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.